Hey guys, uh, just going to be making up some uh, video clips here for growing tobacco from seed right through to processed tobacco. Um, I've been doing this for a few years now and trying to get information off YouTube and other sources online. Most of it's from overseas um, and not really applicable to the way that we do things here or our seasons or anything like that. Um, but like I say, I've been doing it for a few years now and quite successfully growing um, and smoking my own tobacco. So uh, I thought I'd make up these videos for any friends or whanau that have got seed from me. Um, this is going to be a good resource to uh, support you along the way of um, germinating your seeds and growing your own tobacco. Um, so I'm just going to flip this around now and show you where to get started. So here's our tobacco seeds, they're very tiny, um, I always spread them out on a piece of white paper because then it makes it a lot easier to work with. Um, I'm just using these cardboard egg cartons. Um, I buy seed raising mix, now you need a really fine grade um, seed raising mix, you can um, sieve your own soil out of the garden to get rid of all the bits and stones and sticks and things if that's what you want to do that's perfectly fine it just needs to be a fine soil without any debris in the way to stop the seeds from germinating into the soil because what it is is you spread them on the soil and then they root down into the soil so they don't want any obstruction right um, so once you've got your containers, now these can be yogurt containers, margarine containers, blimmin, cut milk bottles in half, whatever you want. I like these because later on I can just cut them into the, and put the, upgrade them into the pots. These can go straight into my next pot. I don't have to worry about tipping them out and fluffing around and disturbing the roots. Okay, so these work really well. And um, I'd recommend going with um, egg cartons or something similar like that. Okay, what we do is we uh, use the white paper because then you can see how many seeds you're actually using. And if you have a look there, they are so tiny. Um, just on that finger there, there's probably like 30 seeds, you know. Um, and then what you want to do is you just want to spread them over the soil um, one section at a time. Spread them around as much as you can, okay? Um, getting them right around there because later on when they start to sprout up, we're going to want to thin them out. Now, I've got some over here I can show you. See, these are quite bunched up. Um, and I'm going to have to go through and thin those out at some point with um, tweezers. So I want them to be spread out as much as I possibly can. Um... And then once I've got my uh, seeds all spread out on my soil there, I get my $2 shop spray bottle. And I recommend using a spray bottle, not trying to tip the water on there or anything like that. Because like I say, if those seeds go under the soil, they won't germinate. They need to be on top of the soil. Um, and they actually germinate in a, humid, in a humid environment. So we give them a good spray with our bottle. And what I do as I put them into these plastic containers. Now this could be, uh, you want it to be a clear container. They need light. Ice cream containers aren't going to cut it, unfortunately. But I do have another option for you. Um, particularly with the egg cartons, if you leave these pieces intact, um, you just simply put over some glad wrap. Okay guys, it's as simple as that. You just want to create a humid environment. Even laying it like this here, how I've got it here, will work perfectly fine um, until those seedlings start to get a bit bigger. Um, and then you sort of maybe want these bits left intact so you can um, have it up a bit higher, stop it from touching on the seedlings. Uh, once the seedlings get up and going, you don't actually need the glad wrap or lid on your container or anything like that you just want that sweaty environment to germinate your seeds and then after that you just continue misting with your bottle once a day okay through this whole process you want to mist once a day okay just keep that nice and damp and humid 
so you're getting some sort of effect like you can see on this container the moisture from the humidity that's built up in there that's what you want you want a nice humid and humid environment and you'll be away laughing these over here those seeds went down seven days ago so they come up pretty quick and uh, not too much hassle you just have to miss them every day and keep them warm I've got a window spot here in my garage I just sit them there they get the they get the Sun in the morning for a few hours and that is plenty to get them going and that's it um, for germinating your seeds and I'm going to carry on doing these video clips this season through every stage that I do um, next will be the thinning um, and then we'll go on to potting and into the garden and lots of other things to come um, but by April we'll be we'll be well into our tobacco we may even start plucking some leaves and smoking dry and curing it and stuff like that before before then um, but yeah keep an eye on our on our YouTube and um, we'll go right through and show you how to process right through to smoking tobacco thanks guys see you later